Welcome back, guys. Um, as you know, I've been working on the uh, RTS thing here. Um, you have the units functioning. Not ready to shoot each other yet. The guns can aim at a target. Um, if I run the scene, all these guns here, well, except for this one, he's too far away, are going to point at this target without clipping into the into the ship. Um, that's not terribly cool, but uh, I will get them shooting at each other soon. What I did start, because I was thinking about it, is how I wanted to do the UI. And I tried a bunch of different things, and about all I came down uh, all, all I came down uh, with, well, sounds like I got something. The only thing I came to was the colors I kind of wanted to use, which was this orange color. I don't know how that's going to look for you on your monitors. And this sort of electric green and blue. And don't worry about the radar screen right there. I probably won't use that as an implementation. I'll probably have it tilted in 3D, but we'll see. Uh, what I do have working are these fellows. And I call them unit cards. I'm going to use the big one. This is actually full scale. These little ones are actually at half resolution here on purpose so that when they're selected, eventually whatever, when I get it uh, fully coded to run, whatever one is selected here will show up here and uh, so you can see it and uh, see with more detail. But uh, what I did do is I, uh, I linked it as a tool, which in this particular um, language slash 3D engine allows the uh, script to run in in edit mode. So right now the script is actually running, which means if I connect, grab the uh, let's see this one here, main HUD. Oh, we need to go in here, main HUD. Um, it's layers like in Unity you have prefabs, in um, Godot you have scenes that are stackable and, and whatnot so for unity users they're just like prefabs you just nestable prefabs in Godot they're nestable slash stackable scenes and I just dragged my mic cable here sorry guys if you heard that I did <laughs> I'm gonna try and put it somewhere it's not gonna drag on everything but obviously I need to represent selected units and whatnot so what I have is a couple states if you see here I know there's the dots in there, but you see here the corner changes with the state from not there at all to, and all it is is a, a set of PNG files that create backers, but they are also actually an object. So if I open up uh, the unit card itself, this is the unit card and it contains those five images and all changing the state here does at the moment is show which one is, is set which one um whoops i lost it where the which one of these is visible um later maybe today or tomorrow i'm going to try and have um the hp and shield and hp bars and then there's going to be sort of like little sub icons that will probably appear here in this sort of area for the weapon, primary weapon type, like if it is a special weapon or whatever, but we'll see. That's uh, probably time dependent. Um, yeah, the world is looking a little bit better. I've kind of fixed the fog a little better. And I think I will be doing the camera on probably two or three planes. The current plane is kind of this angle, 45 degrees down. But I think I'm gonna do one that's about, um, I think 20, uh, I don't know what that is, like, what, 30, 30 something? And then one down at about like this height, intended to be like this close. So you'll be able to get up fairly close to the units, but you're also gonna be able to see some of that distance and probably command your, your units that way. Haven't built that yet. Um, the HUD actually shows up in in game. I also set the uh, windows aspect ratio to 720p right now for for this window, but uh, I don't have the anchor set for these yet. If I expand the screen, you'll see their anchoring isn't moving with the screen yet, but uh, that won't be hard. Oop. Let's have a look here. So if you can see here, yeah, these guys, these two are shooting. You see the funny 
the funny um, yellow, the yellow cone the barrel shows that just an indicator to me that it's shooting. If I had the uh, scene and code for the bullet, they'd be shooting at that blue, blue target. If I move this one here, he can't shoot yet because the um, the gun barrel on the ship knows, or at least the way that the gun barrel is controlled, it can tell if it's outside of its turning radius. So if you see here, the gun barrel's pretty almost straightforward, but at 45 degrees, it can't turn anymore. It knows it can't possibly aim at the target. However, if the um, if the gun barrel, which is always trying to track the target, is less than four, plus or minus 45 degrees from the bow, it must be pointing at the target. So it allows it to fire. So if I make this guy drive around in a circle here, he'll shoot again. I also increased the size of the uh, selection selection grid because when you back out to about here which is probably where a lot of your RTS type commands are gonna happen um, that's the only way you're gonna see the see the selections and uh, yeah the enemy still can't be selected which is good I always check that in case I make a screw up in code what I do need to also get done is you see here the ships bounce into each other I need to give them like a, a kind of like a bubble or a buffer so that they don't they don't smack into each other. Oh, he was selected. Yeah, see, it causes problems. But uh, I'll work on the nest anyhow. Um, yeah, that's the uh, the HUD working, and a small update for today. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.